In this video, I'm going to be making coloured slip out of ceramic stains. I'm going to show you how to turn this regular clay slip and this coloured stain powder into this. In this video, I'm going to be making this coloured slip, which is actually dark blue when it's been fired. It looks mauve at the moment, as you can see, and I've decorated it with some white decorating slip. Um, this one is turquoise slip, coloured slip on the outside with the blue on the inside with the same white decorating slip on the outside. So as I say I haven't fired these yet. If you want to see what they look like when they're finished please do visit my website. There'll be a picture on there when they've been when they've been done. And also if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and then you'll be notified when I upload new videos. You're going to need some Bone dry clay, just pieces of bone dry clay, um, the clay body that you've been using to make your pottery. You are going to need a respirator. You're going to need some stains, some mason stains. I've got a selection of colours here, so just choose whichever colour you like. Um, a hand blender, some water and a little container to, to mix it up in. You are also going to need some scales. Um, the first thing to do is to weigh out your clay. I'm going to do this in pounds. Right, okay, so I'm going to do a pound, I'm going to weigh out a pound of bone dry clay. Um, it's good to use bone dry clay because uh, if you weigh out bone dry clay you're getting the exact weight of the clay, not just the clay plus the water content. So then you can make the clay to stain ratio more accurate. Exactly, that's exactly one pound. So what you do when you've weighed out a pound of clay, you put it in your little container. Tell you what, I'm going to move some of this stuff out of the way. So I'd recommend just breaking, if you can, it's a bit tough, breaking up the bone, body, bone dry clay a little bit just to make sure it all sits on the bottom of the container. Just to cover up the clay. Moving a bit more. There you go. So I'm going to leave that um, overnight, maybe for a couple of days, I'll see how it goes, and wait for it to slake down. And slaking down is basically when the clay breaks down into the water and the reason to use uh, bone dry clay is because it breaks down nice and evenly so the mixture that you end up with is nice and smooth. If you put big lumps of wet clay into water the wet clay tends to congeal, stay congeal together and it's harder to get a smooth mixture. Little hand blender. Once you've used this, if you've got an old kitchen one, if you're using it to mix clay up with, once you've used it to mix clay, don't use it for food again. This is one that I just use for mixing clay. So, squelchy. Okay. Right. Now I'm going to sieve this, but as you can see, it's very thick and it would take forever to sieve. Um, in as it's being that thick. I'm going to use this which has got its um, 60 mesh, very fine mesh and um, it's a ceramic, it's a ceramic sieve and it would just take forever to sieve that if I was trying to put that really thick slip through so I'm just going to add some water because I can always thicken it up later if I want to once I've coloured it.
So that's the consistency I would say of single cream or double cream, I always get those mixed up. Right. So pour the slip into the sieve. It is still quite thick, so it's probably going to take a while for this to, to go through. So I used two pounds, um, one pound of clay, which is 16 ounces, and I'm going to start off adding 10%, a 10% weight of stain, so that's 1.6 ounces, and I'll see how that looks. I might add a little bit more, but I'll start off with 10%. So I'm going to put the respirator on, measure it out, and then, um, then I'll take the respirator off and tell you what I'm going to do next. Okay, so the mask is off. I just need to explain to you that what I'm going to do is I'm going to, rather than, if I put this into my clay now and then stick the stick blender in it, it's going to be a little bit like putting icing in a mixer and then turning the mixer on. Basically, all of the stain is just going to come billowing out and go all over the place. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer this into a little plastic bag, a little kitchen bag mix it in with a small amount of water, make it into a paste, and then I'll put the paste in the slip and then mix that together. So there you go. So I'm gonna put the respirator back on again. Oh my goodness. Filters. <laughs> oh dear. There we go. Oh my word. Hang on a second. Okay. Uh. Okay, so Take the respirator off now because that is liquid and um, I didn't want to add too much water but just enough so that it's um, soft and you can sort of massage it so that it gets rid of the any little lumps in there. Snip it but not so that the plastic end comes off. And then just squeeze it into the clay. You can see the colour of that on the blender really and in there it still needs to be mixed a little bit more. I think I'd quite like it a bit darker than that. It does go darker when you fire it but I think I want it a bit darker than that so I'm going to add some more.
And the next, uh, the, well, the final step is to sieve it again, just to make sure that you get rid of any um, chunks of unblended stain, because if there are lumps of, of stain in there that haven't been mixed in properly, you get uh, a big speckle of colour on your pottery. I realise I don't have a container that is quite big enough to put all of this in, so I'm going to have to put it in two different jars, but that's okay. So, that looks kind of delicious. Thanks for watching.